Now, what you can see here is we have our top view, as you saw before. We have our front view. And just, we're going to talk about line styles in a minute, but um, the, the hole, which you could not see from the front view unless you had an x-ray machine or x-ray vision, uh, we represent those obstructed surfaces, in this case the edges of the hole. <clears throat> we represent them with dashed lines, which we call hidden lines. We'll talk about that more later. So here's our front view, here's our right side view, and here's our top view. And if we were to look at the object <clears throat> and col color the outlines, right, this would be the base portion of the block, right? which we would see in the side view here. And then in the top view, we'd see that same base, right? The top view of it. Oops. And then here's the protuberance. And I'm just going to outline that in green so we can see it in all three views, right? The side view, that's over here, right? And then the top view, it would be up here. It would share this line, right? And then, of course, we have the, the hole, which in the top view would be right here. And then it would be the dash lines in the front view and the side view. So for this object, these three views show us the complete representation of that object on a 2D piece of paper. Now, if we had reason to, which we don't because this object is fully described, but if we had reason to, we could draw for example a left hand view what would the left hand view look like well it would look like kind of the opposite almost the opposite of the right hand view and I say almost for a reason but I'll show you in a minute alright so the right hand or the left hand view would look like this however this line right would not be visible in the left hand view it actually would be a hidden line and I don't know if you can, if you see why yet but the reason is because it's this edge would actually be behind these the the face of this green the protuberance that's in green and the face of this blue base they're coplanar so there actually would not be any separation line here it'd be all one flat plane and I'm going to show you in a minute, you'll see that in more detail. But then you also would have the dashed lines representing the hole. Okay? And if we drew if we had a reason to draw a bottom view, we could do that as well. And a bottom view would look like this. Right? The uh the hole would be here. And the protuberance would be shown in hidden lines again here because you can't see that from the bottom right you can only see this from the top and we're going to we're going to if you don't see that clearly I'm going to show you right now I'm going to jump into our trusty CAD system here where we've modeled up this block all right we've got the whole thing here and I'm going to just going to move it a little bit here <clears throat> and we're looking at an isometric view now we're gonna go ahead and look at our front view just so you believe me and uh, front view right that looks familiar I'm gonna go ahead and turn the hidden lines on so you can see it right so that looks familiar the right side view that looks familiar right and of course the top view looks familiar and now the left side view that I drew, let's see if that's right, looks like that. Here's our hole. Here's the, that line is hidden, right? If I turn the hidden lines off, it's one flat surface here, right? I'm going to turn the hidden lines back on. And we'll jump back over and look at our sketch, right? And that's what we had here, right? And real quick, we'll just jump to the bottom view. Right? And there's the bottom view. Okay? And this that should be a hidden line. It's shown light, but it's it's an artifact from the the display here on the CAD system. 
Okay, so that's how views work. This is an orthographic projection. We started with three views, which is the standard, and we added two views just to show if we needed them what they would look like. Um, we are going to quickly talk about line styles. We already have shown the hidden line um, here, which is a dash line. And that's lines that are obstructed from view, edges that would be obstructed from view that you would need x-ray vision to see. Our solid line is what we call an object line. And an object line is any visible corner edge uh, or the horizon lines of any cylindrical features. Um, we'll explain more about that later. And then this line style, the dash dot dash line, is what we call center line. And you saw that up here, right? We had center lines somewhere, center lines here through our, our hole. And when you see a center line, that re represents a round or a cylindrical object. And then the last line style we're going to show you is the phantom line. And we'll get into those later, but essentially they're reference lines. And the last thing we want to mention, uh, what we show, the manner of, of projecting the orthographic views, it is referred to as a what we call a third angle projection. Where we had the right-hand side view on the right-hand side of the front view where in the layout. Um, I'm not going to get into why it's called this or the details of it, but what you need to be aware of when you start looking at drawings is there is something represented over here, and we'll explain this, called a first angle pro projection. All right. Now, what is a third angle projection versus a first angle? If we take this circular view of this object and what this is this is a cone a truncated cone I'm going to draw a quick isometric of this what we're looking at is an object here that looks like this right cone right <clears throat> if we take we've truncated we've cut the point of the cone off okay that's what we're looking at here so this view we're going to call that the front view that's a view looking that way on the cone. And we're going to call that the front. So this is the front. Then the side is over here. The right side is drawn on the right side. And we can verify that. Here's the, fl the flat surface that's left when we cut the point of the cone off. And that's represented by this vertical line right here, the short vertical line. Then behind that is this longer vertical line that represents the base of the cone right you can see that which would be this larger circle in the front view and that all makes sense you carry this over based on what we already learned about projecting views earlier if you were to carry these lines over that's the edges of that circle line up with the ends of those lines the edges of this circle line up with the edges of that line and so if this were projected using our box and we unfolded it, this is where we would expect to see the side view. The right side view would be displayed to the right of the front view. Well, what's going on over here? Well, in the first angle projection, I'm not going to explain why for now. I'm just going to say that it is shown opposite of what you would expect. It's what looks like the right hand right side view same as this one is located over here to the left of the front view if if this is the front view the right side is shown on the left which intuitively if you're used to looking at this seems backwards right this little surface where we cut the point off here is actually shown behind this line which represents the base so it seems to be arranged opposite of what we would expect. What do, you need to, what do you need to know about this? Well, this is used primarily in Europe or companies of European origin. 
The third angle projecting projection is typically used in the US. Okay? So for the remainder of these videos, we're gonna deal in the third angle projection, and then we're gonna have a video or two that's just going to explain in detail what the first angle projection where it's really derived from it actually is technically correct it's just a different way of looking at the same object and we will go into that in in more detail in another video for now all you need to know is that there is a such thing as a first angle projection you will actually see this symbol the little truncated cone in the title block of the drawing and it'll say first angle projection and you, you need to be aware of that if you see that the, then you'll know the views are arranged opposite of how you would normally be used to seeing them and that's it for now